So here's what I want to know. Which one of those shifts do you need to make? Because surrendering to God will lead to breakthrough in your life. What is, the, what is the recalibration? What is the conviction right now that you've been avoiding that's maybe not even on my list because on the other side, worship team, come on, uh, on the other side of that shift, on the other side of that calibration is breakthrough. So where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are you able and willing to step into this vision that we together will be obsessed, that we will fight tooth and nail that we will lead people to love Jesus and live fully surrendered to him by first being the surrendered one. By first being the surrendered one. And I don't know what that looks like for you. It could be anything, right? It could be so many things, right? Maybe, maybe you avoid all ministry activity that you really want the pocket community thing, right? You don't want to be part of the community. You, you don't even want to be part of this community, you're t- mad that you're here today. You wish you were here last week for the love song thing on singleness that you could avoid because you're married, right? Right? Some, some of you, it's that simple surrender, right? To, to be part of the community. Maybe it's discipleship. Maybe you are avoiding small group because you are afraid of being vulnerable. You're afraid of intimacy. Maybe you don't even like people. And you need to get over it. God never gave you permission not to like people. He has some harsh words for people not liking people because what what you call not liking, God calls hate. I'm not saying you have to be an extrovert. I'm just saying God never gave you permission for that. Maybe maybe that's the next step. Maybe, Maybe you are a killer leader and you're robbing the body of Christ by not participating in our leadership network. In fact, maybe the church right now is suffering because of your silence, because of your inactivity. Maybe you're just lazy and you won't pray. And you know people who you could be fighting adversity on their behalf by taking things to the Lord on their behalf. And you're letting people you love suffer. Maybe it's right here. Maybe instead of worshiping with abandon, you're participating with restraint and it's not even worship taking place. Right? Maybe maybe you've never surrendered your life to Jesus. But maybe now's a good time to start. Scripture tells us that whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved there's no sin that he can't wash away. There's no sin he's unwilling to forgive. He says, I stand at the door and knock. And then after that, he says, and then whoever opens the door, I'll come in. And I'll be with them. I'll eat with them. He's knocking right now, family. He's knocking. Are you ready to let him in?